What's up everyone, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you a camera shake in post. Now most of the time you'll do this when you're actually shooting, you'll take the camera and whoosh it and whip it all around the place and you'll have your camera shake transition, but this is going to show you how to do it in post. You can take two stationary clips that have no movement besides like a little tracking and make a shake happen so it blends your clips together a little bit more seamlessly. So let's jump into it, but first click that like button and comment down below because I'm going to be reading your guys' comments at the end of my videos. So that was pretty sick. It's very easy to do and once you understand how to do it, you're going to take it and apply it to your clips and it's honestly going to make your transition is just a little bit better. So let's jump into Premiere and show you how to do it. So I'm actually working on building this out in my ultimate effects pack. I already have 10 right here. This will basically allow you just to drag it on and you'll instantly have that camera shake right away. So this will be coming in a future update. So that's a good plug. Uh, click the link in the description down below if you guys want to pick up my ultimate effects pack and enter the giveaway if you'd like to win this pack. This effect is fairly simple to use. All we're going to be using is the transform effect. But first things first, you're going to want to click this button right here and create a new adjustment layer. Drag that adjustment layer above your video clips that you would like to work on. And now this is kind of where the bulk of the effect will be created. For starters, go to the center of your clip by hitting up and down on the arrow keys or just drag your playhead to the center. Now we want to make it even on both sides just so the effect is timely on both sides. So what I like to do is hold shift and then the left or or right arrow key a certain amount. I found that four times works great because every time you hold shift and the left arrow key, it jumps five frames. Two, three, four. So that's four times, so I'm gonna drag that to right there. Go back to the middle of that, hold the shift key and the right arrow key, one, two, three, four. So we jump 20 frames in each direction. So this is what you wanna do. Go to the effects tab and type in transform and drag on video effects, distort, transform onto your clip. You'll notice that if we go to the effects controls tab, you'll see that we can start to manipulate the position and the scale on the transform tab. That's pretty much all we're gonna be doing with this effect. What I like to do for starters is set a keyframe on position and another keyframe on scale. And then I'm gonna highlight both of those and drag those to the very beginning. And then I'm gonna hit this button right here to add a keyframe and add a keyframe for position as well. Highlight those and drag those all the way to the right. This way, anything we do in the middle here, it will always return back to normal when the adjustment layer is over. And also we're gonna highlight both of the beginning keyframes, right click, go to temporal interpolation and select ease out. Highlight all the back keyframes, right click and go to temporal interpolation and go to ease in. This way it'll actually ease out and ease in. So now what we wanna do is go to the center. And what we wanna do is actually create some motion on this image so that it's creating motion into our next clip. So I'll typically go a frame or two before my clip and then change the position. But you'll notice that once we change our position, it actually doesn't work. So what I typically like to do is go to the very center and change the scale to 120 or 130. So that way, if I start changing my position, I know that I have some boundaries. So I'm just gonna start dragging that around, and then I'm gonna go through the transition a little bit, and then once I'm through, I'm going to change the position to an opposite side of the image. Since I was down at the bottom left, I'm making it up to the to upper right. So now I'm gonna go through here, and typically I'll add another keyframe down here to get it a little bit back to center and drag that around to something I like, and then do the same for the beginning. I'm gonna adjust the position a little bit and check that out. So if we play this back from the beginning, you'll see it looks like this. It doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look that good. And the reason being is because we have no actual blurring when it's moving. So in order to add blur, all you have to do is uncheck use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle to about 200. So now you'll see that it adds that blur effect. So if we play it back through it, it looks like this. 
So you have your camera shake all done in post with this adjustment layer. Now you can basically save this transform effect as a preset for later use. Or you can also copy it onto all of your other clips so that you can easily have that camera shake to transition throughout your videos. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you one more and I'm gonna use this clip right here. So for this one, drag your adjustment layer on, go to the center of your clip, hold shift, left arrow key, let's do three times this time to make it quicker. Go back to the center, three times on the right, one, two, three, and make a cut. We're gonna go to the dead center of our clip, go to effects, drag on transform, and then I'm gonna change the scale to 130 this time, and add a keyframe. And then I'm gonna go to the beginning, and reset back to 100 and add a keyframe for position. And then I'm just gonna copy that and then go to the end and drag that keyframe there. Again, right click on both of the beginning, temporal interpolation, ease out, and then right click, highlight both of the ones at the end and go to ease in. Now I'm gonna start adjusting this close to my transition. I'm gonna go a little side and down this time. And then I'm gonna actually make one a little bit closer so it's like a little stutter and another one a little closer right there. Uncheck use composition shutter and make this 200. So play back through that, this one looks like that. So yeah, that was a nice quick one. It's uh, very fast. Now you can get in and break this effect down if you click these little arrow keys. Once you click the arrow keys, you can actually see the speed graph within Premiere Pro. So whenever you're on these keyframes, you can actually drag these speed graphs around and start to adjust your speed and how the ramping effect works. And honestly, it allows you to get a little bit more of a realistic camera shake if you would like. But you'll have to play around with the speed graph and let me know what you think about it. So ultimately, that's pretty much it. It's such a simple effect. I know you guys will use it in your work once you get the hang of it. If you guys want me to make a preset pack for this, I will work on something, but let me know what you guys think down below. I'm always trying to make these videos pretty dope for you, and honestly, they're all free. So I'd really appreciate the feedback. But before we go, we gotta read some comments on my last video. So my last video was the fastest way to cut footage. If you haven't checked it out, please give it a watch because it's some pretty nice tips. Victor said, instead of using Control K to cut a clip, I map this to the E key and use all three. Q, W, E are all together. That is probably the number one pro tip. Q actually cuts everything before the playhead and W cuts everything after the playhead. And E, you could map that to basically cut on the playhead. That is an incredible idea. I love that, Victor. Thank you. Um, Duncan said, dude, you're a lifesaver and thanks for the discord. Also, if you guys haven't joined my discord yet, we have over 150 members. I think now click the link in the description down below so you can chat with me whenever I'm on my computer. Omar said I was editing a mega project and then I got a notification from your channel and I must say these tricks save me a lot of time. Thanks, man. Well, Omar, thank you for checking out the channel. Hopefully I have a bunch of videos coming for you and you find some great value in them. Documented said, can you do a tutorial on how you shoot and edit a whole promotional video or a sequence, like with the cuts, transition and all, and he's willing to pay me for it. Well, you don't have to pay me for it. I'll probably do a video on that in the future, because honestly, that's kind of what I've been doing for the past year or so, longer. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know down below. Hit that like button, and if you're new, consider subscribing, because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. Don't forget to wash your hands. I'll see you next time.